Okay, we're back with the second half of this lesson. So in the first half, we created our two pages of mark making with different objects either found in nature or around the home. So the second part of the lesson, we're going to use those mark making techniques to create an expressive semi-abstract um, painting. So you'll find on the PowerPoint, you will find two um, landscapes. You'll find a, an ocean landscape and you'll also find a forest landscape. So pick either one, whichever one you feel you would like to, you're inspired to work on. So I've picked the ocean one. And what I'm going to do is you can do this in your mind or you can print it out, That that's fine. I've just made some notes about where I want to use uh, some of these mark making ideas uh, that we've, um, that we've, we did earlier. So what we're going, what I've done is that I've picked out some areas where I want to use certain objects. So for example, some of these big rocks here, so these maybe four big rocks, I would like to use um, the cardboard on the side to make some patterns. Um, I'm also going to pick out the waves because of the spray, and there's some pattern in these waves here that I'd like to use something different for. There's this section, um, then there's the island, and then we've got the sky. So those are my rough areas that I'd like to pick out to use my different mark making tools with. So what I'm going to do is just very roughly, I'm just going to draw, draw in these shapes. So there's my rough um, horizon line. It really doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to give you an idea of where you're going to be making those marks. So here's the island sits here in the background. And then I've got the spray that's kind of coming up. And I think that's going to be one of the main features. And then you've got the tumbling waves over here, the spray over this rock here. Then you've got another big rock that comes in here and a rock that sits underneath it. Another big rock over here. And then you've got some sort of smaller rocks kind of in the sea over here. Draw them if you draw them in really lightly, you'll be able to rub them out once you've done your mark making afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to get my paint ready and then I'll get back and start showing you how I'm going to fill it in. Right, okay, so I'm ready to start now. I have my piece of paper with my um, sections drawn out very lightly in pencil. I have my reference picture over here in front of me I have all my mark making techniques so I remembered how I used them and in front of me I've got my Indian ink but again you can use paint or you can use coffee. So I'm going to start with the rock area so I'm going to go back to my um, corrugated um, cardboard and I'm going to start off with some kind of big gestures lots of movement I'm going to feel confident in how I'm laying down the paint, the, the ink or the paint. Right, if you have a look, depending on which uh, picture you've chosen, try and pick out the areas that are darker and the areas that are lighter. So when I was using my corrugated cardboard, towards the end of the kind of smear, smudge, um, it was becoming a lot lighter. So actually I could be using this to create these areas of contrast where we've got the highlights and the shadows. So that's what I'm going to aim for. So try and pick up some areas of light and dark um, to create tone in your work. Okay, so I've made, laid down the main rocks. And what I'd like to do next is to use my feather. I'm going to put some of the smaller rocks in with using the feather. I have of that movement that we had with it earlier on. Okay, so in my notes, I've said for the rocks, I want to use my feather, the cardboard, and then for the water patterns, I'm going to use the string, but I might leave that until later because that one is really messy and the pasta is really messy. So what I want to do is I want to try and start 
making that spray that's coming off the rock. So I'm going to be using my toothpick. This one I didn't show you earlier because it rolled off the table and I couldn't find it, but I've got another one. So the toothpick I actually used on the side. Um, and this one was my toothpick. So I'm going to try and aim to kind of create a fan of spray that the bubbles are then going to be coming off. So I'm going to go back to my bubble wrap and this is going to create some of the spray around off that's coming off the rock. Okay, so on the picture, I said I wanted to use some darker areas for the shadows here, and then we have the lighter areas for the rock, but there is some texture here in the rock. So I'm going to try and pick up on this texture that we've got here, and I'm going to use my piece of bark, and I'm just going to dab on a little bit of texture on the top here. Okay, I'm now going to use the pasta and I'm going to roll it in the ink and then I'm going to roll it in here to create those waves coming down here. Right, now I'm going to take my string and I'm going to create some of the, the waves that we've got in the background here. It's all a little bit uneven, so I'm going to mop up the ink and then I'm just going to lay it down. Press down just carefully. Thought in the sky, I wanted it to be just a little bit more gentle than it was in the rest of the picture. So I'm going to come back to my rosemary and I'm going to kind of create some cloud like kind of shapes, patterns across the top here. Right, and then the last thing I want to do is I would like a slightly harder edge across the horizon so I can see where the horizon is. So I'll come back with my cardboard. And there you go. So there is your painting inspired by the ocean and using your mark making tools. I can't wait to see what you've made. <laughs>